when I was in Brazil. I was one day at the retreat. One of the questions was actually not a question, it was a comment. The silence is driving me crazy. And as I pointed out to the person who wrote the note, it's not that silence is driving you crazy. It's the mind talking to itself. As the Buddha said, the mind has three kinds of food. There's sensory input, contact with the senses, there's consciousness at the senses, and then there are intentions. Now the first two have to do with the food that comes from outside. That can be good or bad. Third one, though, is the food you create for yourself. You take the raw materials, and if you don't have the raw materials you want, sometimes you make them up and feed on that. In other words, things may not be the way you want, but you can think of other ways they are, what other ways they could be, and you comment on that, or you have intentions about this, that, or the other thing. Or when things are the way you want, you talk about how you can keep them that way. There's a lot the mind can talk to itself about. And if anything, we've seen from a lot of the people in isolation now from the pandemic is that if you're lacking the contact and lacking the consciousness, you can drive yourself crazy with the way you talk to yourself, the things you get obsessed about, the things you latch on to. So look at the kind of food you're creating for yourself. You do have the choice to, to change. And John Sawat would make this point often. There are lots of things we can choose to focus on. So Ask yourself, what would be the most skillful thing for me to focus on right now? Focus on that. There's going to be con conversation. Converse with yourself about that. Create some intentions that really will be sk skillful and helpful and blameless. Learn to feed yourself with those things. In the normal times of life, we have lots of distractions. But now that our distractions are fewer, you have to be even that more, much more careful about what you're creating inside. After all, when they really want to punish somebody, they throw them into solitary confinement. And it's not the walls that are going to drive them crazy, it's their own chatter inside. But remember, this is one kind of food that you have the power to fix for yourself. The way the world is, the things coming into your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, from outside. You have some control over that, but there are a lot of areas where you have no control. But you should learn some control over the way you feed yourself with your intentions. Give yourself a good intention and stick with it. That's what concentration is all about. In Thai, when they translate the word samadhi, that we translate as concentration. They translate as firm intent. So find something good and be firm in your intent to stay with it. That way the mind will be well fed and healthy, regardless of what other kind of food the world has to offer.